Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 20. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is the Supercar Festival. We're going to be taking this Ford GT. We've customized it, upgraded it to 625 performance points. Uh, so we've got ourselves 746 horsepower, about 200 extra horsepower than the stock car. Um, this was pretty much the cheapest supercar we could get. Um, and I've also gotten myself a nice new helmet because I was getting bored of the old color. Um, so what we're going to do, Supercar Festival, starting off with Silverstone International Circuit. That's a very short track, okay. Uh, then moving on to Monza, and then finishing off with the Circuit de la Sarthe. All of these are three laps. Ooh, okay. That last race is going to be very long. Uh, so the typical cars are Huayra, GT40 Mark 1, Lexus LFA. I feel like our 4 GT is going to obliterate the pack. One thing I haven't checked is tyres. What tyres do we currently have on? Sports hards. Mm, yeah, we can stick with those. I think that should be alright. Let's enter. This is 1.85 miles per lap. Each lap is going to be done within a minute with our car. Literally a minute. Right, what is our grid looking like? Murcielago LP670. Okay. That's a powerful one. Uh, 8C, Z06. We've got another 4 GT, but that is the 06 version. We've got the 05 version. Right, let's do this. Okay, right. Onto the brakes. Don't hit my car, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this car feels like a boat. Imagine trying to drive a boat on tarmac. That's what this feels like. Holy shit. Right, we've got to try and overtake all the cars in what seems to be like not much space. Ferrari F40 up ahead. Okay. Drifting. Right, we need to try and catch up with the GTR. We've obviously got the uh, Lamborghini Super Veloz. I think that's how you say it. Lamborghini SV up ahead. In first. Uh, Lexus LFA though. Nice car. I love the LFA. It's such a beautiful car. Kind of sad that Lexus just haven't made an LFA since. Like, I want a 2020 model of the Lexus LFA. Wow, maybe 2020 might be out of the question at the moment. Uh, but 2021 quite possibly could happen. There's another Ford GT just like ours. Is it exactly the same? I think it's exactly the same. We've got a Lamborghini SV in front of us. Oh my god, the Murcielago SV is such a fuck me. Well, we spun out. I was about to say the Lamborghini Murcielago is such a nice car, but it uh, obviously distracted me a bit too much that it made me crash. I feel like maybe uh, racing softs might be a good idea, but then no, because look how much my tyres have already heated up. I 
I think this is the only time we're going to be taking this 4 GT as well. I really don't want to be driving a 4 GT almost every other episode like we did in GT5. That was a little bit ridiculous. We took the 4 GT so much. But it was the only car I could afford that was like supercar status. Oh. Just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Cross the line, no. Ah. We were so close. Ah, oh, how did I lose control right at the end? That corner is such a dodgy corner on Silverstone. It is the, one of the most challenging corners out of all of them. Is that one corner. It is challenging as hell. And I hate it. Two stars. We could come back to that later though. I'll come back to that off camera. By tomorrow, that will be three stars. Guaranteed. But next race is going to be Monza. This is a much more easier track to drive on. And I know that. Because I've already driven this car. Maybe not this exact one. But I've driven it in GT5. Around Monza. And it was easy. So, hopefully. Let's have a look. I don't like that. There's an FXX on there. SLS AMG. GTR Black Edition. Some very fast cars. Ours is obviously the fastest. Because like the 4 GT is like upper class supercar and here we go for GT time to shine oh to be fair we could have gone for an Audi R8 I think I would have had enough for that probably would have been a better car to pick as well because it would have had a little bit of variety. But I am not fussed. I don't like that that's a bright green Lamborghini Murcielago. Like that's a Lamborghini Mur 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 Murcielago in bright green. Doesn't sit right in my stomach. Not at all. Come on. Don't mess me up, game. This car is very... Th this car's strong point is straight. And that's why this track is so much better than any of the others. Ferrari FXX is all the way up there, though, in first. Miles ahead. Awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Why is the Ferrari FXX such a nice car? Not fair. I swear Michael Schumacher owns a FXX. That's not how that corner is supposed to be taken, but it's how we're taking it today. Show off, failed. <laughs> Why are you constantly spinning? There we go, that's better.
these two races, this one and the last one at Silverstone, are probably shorter than the final race that we're about to do after this. The Le Mans. Okay, we're back ahead of the Ferrari. Let's keep it that way. Keep it that way, come on. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice. First gear, I think, yes. Here we go, here we go. Whoa! Bit of a slide. Perfect. Right, slow down, slow down. Come on, come on. Whoa. Don't go off the track, please. I beg. The Ford GT's trying to ruin my career. The interior is quite nice for this car, though. It's very nice in this game. And the actual field of view is much better. Like, you couldn't actually see the speedo. That's how close it was in GT... Uh, GT5. So at least there's a proper field of view that you can actually drive. But I don't like that field of view. I don't like that camera angle. Nice. And show off for the finish. Here we go. And across the line. 1 minute 52.6. Fastest lap was the final one. 10.8 miles. Next race is going to be the longest. It's going to be really long, actually. Just realised. There we go. Three stars. That was only 19,000 credits. For that. Oh, this last race better give me something good. It better do. Final race. How much credits? 21,000 for three laps of the Circuit de la Sarthe. That's like 25 miles. Oh, God. This is long. I might have to go downstairs and grab myself a coffee for this one. I don't even like coffee. That's the weird thing. Uh, 25.41 miles. We've got ourselves a 599, a Murcielago Chrome something, uh, a Miura, an 8C, a GT40 Mark 1. Nice. Good choice of cars here. And here we go. Black screen again. Luckily, it came back. And we are on the Circuit de la Sarthe for three laps. This is going to be an insanely long race. Whoa! Awesome. Come on, come on. got to get around these corners as well as possible. Takes about five minutes to do one lap of this track. And now we're going to do our top speed test of the GT. How is this six gears and in fifth I'm still going to 30?
Oh crap, that was close. Awesome. He didn't move out of the way, it's his fault. Not mine. Awesome. She's got the Dodge Viper in front of us. Let's get past you, get you out of the way. I still can't believe in third gear we're hitting 170. That's crazy. And start breaking now. Third, second, into first. Perfect. That was a very good corner there. Do you know, this might actually be a shorter race than I was expecting. Because, I mean, we are able to hit, like, 200 miles an hour on every single one of these straights, so... Awesome. Perfect. Look at that. Right, I'm not actually sure. I know we're coming up towards where the Porsche curve is, but I'm not sure where the Porsche curve is. I remember going off that exact same corner in GT5. Crap. There's a little bit too much power in this GT. I have a feeling after this series, after this um, championship, we're not going to be driving it again. In fact, I can guarantee you that we probably won't be driving it again at all. Four minutes for one lap of the Circuit de la Sarre. Awesome. Perfect. A little bit slidey through there. Right, this time we're going to see how much top speed we can get. This is the straightest and fastest section of the south. Perfect. Awesome. I am loving this. really do have to delay how much we're breaking in that section. Perfect. A 
Let's go. Speed, speed, speed. I feel like picking the Ford GT in a bright yellow color was not a wise choice. Ever so slightly too late there, so we can't go as late next time. Nice. Oh! Is it daylight cycle? It is. It's a slow daylight cycle. For the next lap, it's going to be pitch black. So it goes by a minute every five seconds. Every four seconds, actually. I didn't realise it was getting dark until the lights came on. Oh my gosh, there's fireworks. Come on. Oh. Stuck to the wall. Stuck to the wall. Get away. It's much better. Oh. I'm not great with nighttime driving, so. I was not expecting it to get dark in this race, though. Perfect. Awesome. This lap's not going to be a fastest lap, but this is going to be a trying not to crash and burn lap. So obviously it's getting close to midnight now in the game. Perfect. And now is where we go really quick. I wonder how they actually do this in like 24 hour races because this is pitch black. How would you see where your breaking point is? Like you don't get a bright red line on the ground where you've got a break. That's just not how it works in real racing. In real life racing, not the game real racing. And that just makes it impossible. Yeah, high beams need to stay on. Perfect. Nearly lost the car there. Too late. Too late. Oh, maybe not. It was perfect. I thought we had break started breaking way too late because it looked like we were going in way too quick. But apparently not. Apparently it was okay. Awesome.
Come on, come on. Awesome. Right, coming up to the final section now. Perfect. And finish. Across the line. What are we looking at? 12 minutes and 22 seconds, nearly dead. And how many credits did we get? Look at that. It was bright, pure daytime, and then it went to night. Just like that. That's crazy. 21,000 credits. We're around about 100,000 now. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Thank you.